Hi, how are we? Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're good. So today I'm starting the video in a car because I am on my way to somewhere really fun for reptile lovers. We're gonna go feed some crocs, okay? That's like my favorite thing about living here. So I bought some chicken, I put it in a bucket, it's ready to go, it's thawed out. And uh, for the iguanas, because there's also gonna be iguanas there, I just took them some fruit and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna interrupt here really quick. Um, hi, it's future me editing now. <laughs> so I have to clarify something. This day, actually this was a couple weeks ago, but because it has to do with iguanas, I'm gonna insert this footage here. <laughs> so on this day, I was actually gonna go feed the crocs again because, you know, it's been a while since we've done that in this channel and uh, also the iguanas in my city. But there was a lot of people that day. I don't know why I tried to go at a time where there really wouldn't be anyone, but it was pretty crowded actually. I ended up not filming that much. Definitely didn't film with the Crocs. So I only have iguana footage to show you guys, which actually really works for this video. So enjoy. Let's go. This is the before. So this is a terrarium that I have not used in months. You know what? It shows. Look at the condition it's in. <laughs> but now that Gogo is with me, he needs a place to grow out. So we're gonna remodel this for him. 
So the basic structure of this thing is actually really simple. So the bottom is solid and then on top there's these two supports as well as on the sides. So on both sides and on the back. And the front door is actually just like a frame that is held in place with these two hinges and then there's also these two locks. So inside I just had like a couple branches along with the water dish in the back and two of these clamp lamps inside. Like seriously, I was just wasting so much space. So now that I'm gonna remodel it, here are my plans for this. The first major change I wanna do to this is add a solid roof just like the floor because this happened my cats would just lay up there like a hammock and you know those are big cats my cats are big and thick and they <laughs> yeah made a hole on top because they're so heavy so I don't want that happening again so that's why I want to do the solid roof I also want to push both of these supports to the side a little bit so that I can cut out some holes so that the lamps don't have to go inside. We can put them on the outside. That's the plan at least. As far as like inside decor goes, I really want to add like a lot of branches. Like I want there to be a lot of climbing areas, resting areas, basking areas. Just I want to use up as much space as possible. Also, I I want to actually use some substrate the watering dish i still want to use a watering dish i don't want to do like a water feature but i am going to try and disguise it a little bit with some rocks maybe some more naturalistic looking stuff and uh yeah that's it happy iguana back in the enclosure look how happy it looks even if it's just an emoji it looks happy okay <laughs> and that's the plan so that's what we're gonna do with this yikes <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing I did was obviously bring the terrarium down to the floor so that I could actually work on it. Oh, there's my doggies. So that's Benny. That's Nevis. Benny is the worst dog in the world, y'all. So like, yeah. <laughs> the first thing I'm doing is kind of measuring out these two boards so that I know where to cut because we are going to be making these the new roof. Um, okay, first of all, you guys, I do not know how to properly use power tools, okay? Like, you're gonna see me using them here, but, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know why, but, like, if I'm working, like, on animal enclosures, terrariums and stuff, like, the terrarium gods shine their light down on me, and somehow the end result is always decent. So the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> which doesn't really matter, but I'm still making it, is I don't know how to use power tools. Please don't use me as an example. Okay, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so as we discussed, I want the lamps to rest on top of the roof. So I'm tracing them out. So because I only want the lamps like resting on top and not like falling through or anything, we're gonna make the circles smaller. Okay, so I saw this in a commercial, so that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> it was like this commercial where they were trying to sell this like little tiny saw or something. And I saw that they made circles before cutting the shape out. So I did it and you know what? It worked out. So <laughs> commercials can be educational, okay? <laughs> and look, you guys, it, I'm cutting out a circle. It's, it's working. Yay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this voiceover. Like I honestly should have just played some music and not speak <laughs> but you know what too late so anyways next um oh look at that perfect circle though that circle though <laughs> man i'm losing it i'm going crazy <laughs> i should be sleeping that's the problem it's really late at night and i should be sleeping but instead i'm doing this voiceover <laughs> anyways back to the project so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my cats started so i'm cutting off the window mesh from the roof so that we can go ahead and attach the roof oh but first we have to move the top supports over to the sides so that they don't block the light from the lamps 
or the lamps themselves. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, great, awesome, perfect. Well, not perfect, but I'm trying, okay? <laughs> it's time for the boards to go in place. Oh my gosh, I used so many screws. And oh, you guys, I was so sore the next day. Like this drill is super heavy and <laughs> I don't know. I woke up the next morning and I'm like, man, why am I so sore? What happened to me last night? Like I was really thinking I blacked out or something and I could not remember all of this that I did the night before. And I was like worried like, man, am I aging really fast because my body hurts? But no, it came to me afterwards later in the day like, girl, did you forget everything you did last night? Oh wow, some of you guys are gonna take that wrong. <laughs> Anyways, I remembered all this that I did with the terrarium and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. That's why I'm sore. Um, back to the video. Okay, so I brought the terrarium outside so that I could go ahead and paint it. And this is the same paint that I use in all my enclosures and terrarium builds. It's just a black oil paint and I love it. I've told you guys this in the past. It holds up great against humidity and I love it. It's my go-to and I love that it's like a glossy finish. You know, it just makes everything look really nice and shiny in the end. So I painted everything like even what was already painted i went ahead and painted the entire terrarium all over again so i let it dry overnight so the first thing i did was attach the screws on here so that the lamps would not go anywhere oh by the way the lights inside are for reptiles please make sure you are using the proper bulbs inside of your reptile enclosures thank you so here it is where i want it on top of this dog bed dog cage it's a cage but they use it as a bed but like it's always open usually so like they kind of just come and go whenever they feel like it so the branches i'm using inside are actually branches from my avocado tree which i have in my backyard yeah it's been like really windy here a lot of branches actually have fallen and they're like big branches and some of them are really thick so like perfect for this terrarium whatever branches you decide to use in your terrariums just make sure they're non-toxic typically branches from fruit bearing trees are okay hello hi it is me in a different day so before we get on with the rest of the video i just want to really quickly remind you guys that um buy my merch <laughs> please thank you okay that is off so um the rest of this is really just me securing like branches and adding substrate and stuff in so there's really no need for me to keep narrating so like you know i'm gonna shut up now and let you guys just watch and enjoy plus i'm sure you guys are tired of hearing my voice by now so like i'm gonna stop talking oh wait before i go i just want to like clarify so yeah all these branches that i'm adding in they are screwed down in place so they don't go anywhere and uh, yeah keep watching <laughs> thank you i'll be back in the end when we add gogo -Go in
So the time has come to add cute little Gogo into his brand new redesigned terrarium. You guys, look how tiny he is and so adorable. <laughs> um, yeah, he's gonna look really tiny in there. But you know what? That is perfectly fine. That's just gonna mean that he's gonna have tons and tons of room to explore and it's gonna take him a while to fully discover everything. Oh, look how tiny he looks and so adorable i'm gonna cry it's so cute <laughs> so that is it for this video really quick before i go i do want to clarify to you guys that this is not a terrarium just for gogo like i am planning to introduce him to two other medium-sized iguanas that i have under my care right now they're a little bit bigger than him so i'm like placing gogo in first so that he can kind of establish it's a new terrarium so they shouldn't be territorial over it but that is the plan and i will show you guys that process of introducing him to the others in another video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel then what is wrong with you do it <laughs> turn on your notifications thank you leave a beautiful comment down below what did you think i need to go to sleep um, talk to you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.